bleed black and gold bust forever you already know man it's your boy you know t green and i'm back with another one man oh man it's about to go down saturday baby we are less than 24 hours away right now as i'm recording this video it's 12 o'clock noon 12 o'clock tomorrow on saturday hey colorado bus baby we already finna be showing up and showing out at the Amon G Carter Stadium down in Fort Worth, Texas, baby. Hey, we about to bring them dogs out. And, you know, I've been on vacation for a few days, y'all, but I've been peeping the internet. I've been staying and keeping in touch. Yeah, I haven't been posting anything lately, but I've been keeping in touch. And what I see, I do not like. Y'all trying on Colorado Buff, man. Come on, man. Come, really? Y'all got us losing that bad? I mean, one prediction had us down by 40. Y'all is tripping, man. We got some dogs, baby. And don't get me wrong, TCU got some dogs too. And it's gonna be a dog fight. And I really think that the dog fight gonna go down in the trenches, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, TCU got big bubble. And hey, he gonna have to bring it. And he better last all four plays, all four downs, baby. Because hey, we're gonna bring that heat too. But with that being said, in my opinion, I think the key matchups is not between our specialists. You know, we got Travis, we got Jimmy, we got a Xavier and all of that. I think the key matchups is going to be between the quarterbacks, between Shador and their quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Because he was out last year um, hurt. You know what I'm saying? So he got a lot to prove in, 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 in my opinion. So let's Let's talk about this a little bit. Let's just talk about some facts here. What we know. Colorado Buffs was the worst team in the Power Five over the last few seasons. They only had one, like, winning season in 2005. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> Dion brought in over 70 players. We already know the story. A lot of people hit the transfer portal. It was big articles about every. He booted everybody out, brought in new people. That's not the topic of discussion right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's a brand new team, but it's a team of dogs. You know what I'm saying? And Colorado is only returning one starter from their 2022 season. And if you don't know, that's safety Trevor Woods. And he's a bad boy. You can catch him on well off media early morning breakfast sessions. He's usually the first few players on the camera. Yeah, that's Trevor Woods, a dog at safety. So him and Shiloh finna be at the head busting. So, you know what I'm saying? And he led the team into... It, it, enough on him right now. So, he's the only one that was returning. All right? So, the rest of the team is pretty much new. I mean, well, the offensive tackle, the dude who, like, 6'9". Uh, uh, the, the, I think he played the left tackle or the right tackle. No, he's on the left-hand side. Um, now... Should do a Sanders, you know what I'm saying? Transfer from Jackson State, threw over 3,000 and something yards, over 40 touchdowns, had less than six interceptions throughout the whole season. You know what I'm saying? That's why I think it's going to lie between the quarterbacks, um, in my opinion. Okay? Now, running back, we got Anto, uh, Miss Caskill, right? But I was looking at the injury report. He may not even be playing Saturday because I believe he has something going on with his knee. So we may rely on Cavassier Smoke. You know, he was out there in Kentucky. But if Cavassier don't carry that ball, hey, we always got Dillard, right? So we, we good on the running back side. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too much worried about that. And we don't need to talk about the receivers. I mean, we, between the Xavier, Jimmy Horn, and Travis, if we need Travis on the offensive side, and I think he's going to be playing both ways. We're going to see Travis on the offense and defense. Hey, put Travis on their best receiver. Uh, we finna do straight lockdown. You know what I'm saying? Between him and Kamarni McClain, hey, this is going to be interesting. We finally get to see what this real, real package get to really, really, really look like. Don't get me wrong. I love well-off media videos and stuff, but it's, it's very calculated. You know, we, they only going to show you so much. Now we get to see that thing in primetime effect, baby, Saturday on Fox. So, whoo-hoo, boy, I, I, I am hype. Um, but, yeah, speaking on the defense, like I say, we got true freshman Kamari McClain starting at cornerback. And if you thought he wasn't going to start, you was only fooling yourself. Um, so, 
I'm curious to see how that's gonna go. That's gonna be an interesting uh, uh uh thing with him, Travis, Shiloh, Trevor Woods. I mean, oh my gosh, man, the defense is looking nice as far as that back end. You know what I'm saying? Now, TCU. Don't get it twisted. They got a lot of players coming in and a lot of players left. Like I was saying, they quarterback has left. You know he going to the NFL. So Chandler Morris, remember he started out last year, but he got hurt. So he has a lot to prove. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is why I was saying earlier to me, this first game, it matters between the two quarterbacks. The two quarterbacks going to dictate how the teams are going to be playing. <clears throat> and if, ooh, I keep getting choked up here, sitting here drinking this coffee. So if you ask me, I feel like TCU have more to prove because I strongly believe Shadur finna do his thing. And I think Shadur is begging for this light. Man, y'all see boy done when it got a tattooed on his hand, that dollar sign. He mean business, baby. They pay good when you play good. Come on, now. Nah. Come on, read between the lines, baby. <laughs> his own father preached that. So that tattoo to me signifies that bruh finna bring it. He is not playing with him. Um, so, you know. TCU did bring in a lot of other people, and they have a lot of big linemen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they got three starting offensive linemen that's, that you know that's that's coming back and everything. So, I I'm not finna root them up, you know. But they are well or machine. You know what I'm saying? They do have the depth, you know, from what I looked into. So, hey. It is what it is, but I'm not here to hype them up because it's always about who them dogs out there in Buffalo, Colorado, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's going down, man. Hey, did I say Buffalo, Colorado? <laughs> Colorado bus, baby. <laughs> I'm tripping, y'all. It's that coffee. But, man, did y'all see them predictions? Really? Come on, boy. There's some haters out there. Now, while I was out in the room, I was sitting here reading articles and stuff. I mean, oh, my God. 40-point spread. They talking about TCU only allowed this. They only allowed that. But guess what? Y'all ain't been against some real dogs. See, what it is, and this is just my opinion, I think the media and these sports analysts who ain't never played a lick of football, you know, they sit behind a computer desk and read metrics and charts and rely on what the AI programming tell them to basically say, hey, you can't go by all these predictions. And don't get me wrong, these algorithms are good. But you never saw Colorado play yet as a unit. So how do you know? How do you really know? You see what I'm saying? I don't care if you simulated a game. You simulating a game off of non-factual information. None of these percentages are correct. What do we go out here and should do and throw three touchdowns in the first quarter? Then what? Then what? That's my point right there. You do not know. You you haven't seen this. You going by analytics from Jackson State? Whole different season, whole different uh squad, whole different coaching. You know what I'm saying? Dion has brought in NFL type coaching staff. Okay. These are not just your average day. All of these coaches can be head coaches, if that makes sense to you. So we these group of men is being coached at a level of such a high level where you may be shocked come Saturday. Don't be surprised if it's a close game going into halftime and we up by three or we up by seven. I honestly think it's going to be a low scoring game, y'all. This is my predictions. Get down in the comment box and let me know what you think the score going to be. I'm going to tell you what I think the score going to be. And something telling me this may be true. I'm feeling Colorado gonna have 21 to TCU 14. I think TCU gonna be hold, held to two touchdowns, y'all. And I feel it. Because I think Dion and them gonna shock the world. Saturday, 12 o'clock, Texas. Y'all better be ready. If I could catch a flight down there to that first game, I would. 
But y'all better be ready, TCU. Cause we coming. And guess what? According to Well Off Media, baby, we already there. Let's go. Who let the dogs out? Ow, 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 ow. Y'all know the motto. You already know the motto, man. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe, tune in with your boy, you know T Green. I'ma be right back with another one.